boys. Expected. Yep. Calculated. Classic. High five, Mr. JD. There it is. At long last. There it is. Glowing. Shining bright in the inventory. There we go. There it is, T.Y. Oh, I thought it was about time we logged in and uh, just collected our legendary. Ah, I thought so. I thought it was about time. So there, that's that quest thing, right? The real prison happens. I got some extra quest things for Lego if you need help. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and there it freaking is, boys. So that's it then, right? Well, not exactly. After the axe drops, there's a bit more that you need to do in order to unlock its full potential. And we're gonna go over all of that right now. Hi, I'm Quaylen from Team Bajira, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the complete quest line for Firaloth the Dream Render. Let's get started. In order to follow this guide, we're gonna break it down into three sections, and we're just gonna call them Leatherworking, Enchanting, and Inscription. Yep, you guessed it. There's some profession work going on here, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. As you see here, once the axe drops and Bajura equips it, you're given a quest. This leads you to this area so you can speak with Edward Dallingrig at the Azerothian Archives. He's gonna give you a quest called Handling It, and the objective to that quest is to obtain three items, which are the Symbiotic Glow Spore Grip, the Rune of Shadow Binding, and the Concentrated Sophic Vellum. But here's a good question. This is, is this an auction house situation? Like, what's, what's the deal? That would be nice, and there are some things you'll need to get from the auction house, but unfortunately, you can't just get what you need for the quest outright from the auction house. Instead, you'll be picking up an additional three quests. There are three more quests you need to grab. Oh, geez. And you'll find them in the book next to the guy you just talked to. Oh, already. Okay, so this is how you get... Okay, here we go. These quests are Handling It, Symbiotic Glow Spore Grip, Handling It, Concentrated Sophic Vellum, and handling it, Rune of Shadow Binding. The first two will take you to the Onaran Plains to talk to two people, and the third, you'll have to go to the Azure Span to talk to one more person. So to recap, once you get the ax, equip it, then you'll get a quest to visit the Azerothian Archives. Once you get there, you'll get a new quest to obtain three items. This is the main quest that you're working on, but in order to complete it, you need the rewards from these three separate quests that you'll get from reading the book. Got it? Good. Let's keep going. Starting with the symbiotic glow spore grip, this is what we're going to call part of the leatherworking phase. This quest will lead you to the Onaran Plains to talk to Erden, which he will give you a quest called Handling It Shadowed Dream Leaf. All you need to do is collect 200 shadowed dream leaves, and you can do that by completing objectives during any Super Bloom event in the Emerald Dream. While you're doing the Super Bloom event, you'll be given an item called the Tattered Dream Leaf. With this item, you can use this on any party member and they'll receive a quest called Tattered Dreamleaf. Basically, all they have to do is complete the objectives in the Super Bloom and they'll be given an item called Restored Dreamleaf. When they use this item on you, you'll get a buff increasing the rate at which you receive Shadow Dream Leaves, which is the item that you're trying to get. Here's your Shadow Dream Leaf, bro. After all that's done, return to Erden and you'll start the next quest called Handling It Glow Spore Grip. This is really simple. You'll receive a scroll that allows a character with Dragon Isle Leatherworking 100 to temporarily learn the recipe for Erden's Dream Leaf Grip. So find a Leatherworking friend, click on him, teach him the recipe by clicking the scroll that's in your inventory, then send him a work order with the mats you see here. You can buy all of these on the auction house except for the prototype Dream Leaf Grip because you've already got it in your inventory. Once he makes the item, you'll receive Erden's Glow Spore Grip. Turn this quest in with Erden, and you begin working on the last quest, which is called To the Test Symbiotic Glow Spore Grip. This is really simple. Head to your garrison and enter the Proving Grounds. Click on Erden's Symbiotic Glow Spore Grip in your inventory, and let the Shadow Flame do its work on you. You're gonna take some damage, but because you're in the Proving Grounds, you won't die. And since this process takes a few times to get it to work, simply talk to the panda in the room and start any bronze level fight which will reset your cooldowns and you can try again. 
Repeat this process until you've completed the objective for the quest. After that, return to Erden and you'll receive the Attuned Glorspore Grip. Use this item from your inventory and you'll get the first item needed for the main quest, which is the Symbiotic Glowspore Grip. Now that the leatherworking portion is done, let's take a look at the enchanting section. You'll be staying in the Onaran Plains and speaking with the NPC named Shalazar Glimmerdusk, located here. She will give you a quest titled Handling It, Radiant Fleck of Ash. In order to complete this, you'll need to collect 20 Radiant Flecks of Ash. After accepting the quest, you'll find the Ashen Dowsing Rod in your bags. You'll be using this on any piece of epic gear that you can get your hands on. As of recording this video, any purple piece will work just fine. It doesn't have to be from Dragonflight. This might change later, but others have reported success doing this, so give it a shot. Once again, you'll want to head to the Proving Grounds to use the Bronze Trial to reset your cooldown on the rod. Because it has a 5 minute cooldown, which really sucks and would take forever. But after getting the 20 Flex of Ash, return to Shalazar, and you'll receive the Prototype Order Vellum, along with the next quest called Handling It Radiant Vellum. And just like before, you'll receive a scroll which will allow you to teach someone who's enchanting 100 to temporarily learn the recipe for Shalazar's Sophic Vellum. So get your enchanting friend set up with the scroll, then by using the crafting order system, send them these items that you can buy off the auction house along with the prototype order Vellum. Once you get the item, return to Shalazar. She'll give you the final quest which is to the test concentrated Sophic Vellum. First, head to the auction house and buy 100 to 200 of the cheapest Awakened Essences you can find. Then head back to the Proving Grounds so you can reset your cooldowns during this phase. Use the Sophic Vellum to channel and when you're ready, use the indicated icon here to finish the cast just like what Bajira is doing right now. Each stabilization will grant 5% to the quest progression. Also, the essence that's required will shuffle each time, but that's okay. You can just click off the buff, talk to the panda, restart the bronze trial, then try again for what you need. You'll understand when you see it. After this is done, return to Shalazar one last time to receive the attuned Sophic Vellum. Use it from your bag and you'll get the second item for the main quest, that being the concentrated Sophic Vellum. Last but not least is the inscription section. This will start in the Azure Span by talking to Lydiara Whisperfeather, located here. Her quest for you is called Handling It, Taut Tether Coil. This is really simple. Collect 50 taut tether coils from elites in the Emerald Dream. And the great thing is, there are plenty of pre-made groups doing this in the Group Finder tab. So join up with a bunch of people and get to work. You can also do this while waiting for the next Super Bloom when you're working on the leatherworking portion of the entire quest line. Completing this quest gives you the Prototype Binding Ruin and will start you on handling it Prototype Ruin. And like the two sections before, you'll receive a scroll that allows a character with Dragon Isle Inscription 100 to learn Lydiara's Binding Ruin. Send that person a crafting order with these mats, which you can buy at the auction house, along with the Prototype Binding Ruin. Once you get the item, turn in the quest, and now this is where you don't go back to the Proving Grounds. Instead, for the next quest, which is called To the Test, Rune of Shadow Binding, you need to kill three raid bosses while tethered to them. So enter the LFR, use the rune on a boss during the fight, kill the boss, and that's it. Do that three times and return to Lydiara to receive the attuned Rune of Shadow Binding. Using that item will get you the third and final main item, which is the Rune of Shadow Binding. Now that all three of the sections are done, it's time to turn in the main quest, which you've been working on this entire time. So return to the Azerothian archives and turn in the main quest, which is called Handling It. This will progress you to the next quest, which is called An Axe Tempered. And from here, you'll be traveling to the Obsidian Citadel in the Waking Shores. When you get there, speak to Edward, and then begin working on the anvil next to him. When that seems to backfire on you, speak with Rathian. He will give you the final quest, which is the Power of Temptation. Speaking with Rathian one more time enters you into the final fight. Once inside, save your big cooldowns for Farak, prioritize the big adds, and burn Farak as fast as possible and until your discipline bar is full. Once that's done, you'll have your legendary axe. We hope that this tutorial was easy to follow, and if you like this content, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Comment down below with any questions or thoughts, as this does spark the YouTube algorithm and helps us out a lot. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the stream.